You know by now that email marketing is pretty great. It's one of, if not the best platform for delivering messages and marketing to an audience of people. However, like anything in life, it is not perfect and it does come with a few flaws. It's important to understand that there are a few drawbacks to email marketing, but when we can identify these flaws, we can come up with solutions to minimize their impact. Alright, so the first real flaw of email marketing is that you don't have a lot of options on the media side of things. If you're working in a market that relies heavily on design and media, sending out pictures, videos, and so forth, email isn't always the best platform to share them on. Media-heavy templates are available on any good email marketing service, but they often come out clunky and spammy looking, not to mention, they can take a long time to load for people using mobile phones to access their email, which is becoming increasingly more common. Now there are obvious workarounds for this, such as emailing out a link to a YouTube video or something, if that's what you wanted to share. But for directly embedding, social media websites like Facebook are generally a better option. Speaking of social media, email can lack the virality factor that websites such as Facebook and Twitter can provide. It doesn't really matter how great your email is, chances are it won't reach many people outside of your list. This is a bit different than, say, Facebook, for example, where followers of your page can share your posts, and then their friends can share it, so on and so forth, and before you know it, half a million people have seen your post. I have to admit, it is a pretty neat effect, and can be a good way to grow your audience without much additional effort on your part. However, you and I both know that the purpose of email marketing isn't necessarily to grow your audience, it's to retain your audience, and keep in contact with the audience you already have. It's to build such a good relationship with those people, that they are ready to buy whatever you promote. And let me tell you, it is a million times easier to sell to somebody on your email list, than it is to sell to someone on social media. It can be done, but I'd much rather focus on what yields results, and that is email marketing. The final main con of email marketing, if you can call it that, is the fact that there are a few rules and regulations you have to follow to comply with the CAN-SPAM Act of 2003. Now if you're an ethical, white hat marketer, and you genuinely want to do things the legal and right way, complying with these rules won't be a problem for you. In fact, we're going to have a whole lecture later on in the course going over the specific rules and laws you need to follow, so in all honesty, unless you planned on deliberately spamming people, which is illegal and won't work anyway, then you won't have anything to worry about. So those are the three main drawbacks of email marketing, and to be completely honest with you, they aren't really all that bad, especially when you look at all the positives email marketing has to offer.